Hi everyone, in this video we will try to run the network, select the power flow solver, animate the power flow in the network, the active and reactive power through the components of the network, show the online readings and view them in different modes. So if we come here, we can see that we are on the edit mode. If we press on run mode, we can see that we are able now to run the network. But before we run it, we can press on solve this one. We can see this menu. We can select reset to flat start. If there is anything happened to the network like diverging, we don't have any solution. If we have a problem like blackout and any other things, we can just come here and press on reset to flat start and we can press OK. Then we can select the power flow solver. We have a Newton Raphson, we have Polar Newton Raphson. I think this one is rectangular form. We have also fast decoupled Newton Raphson solver and we have also Gauss Seidel power flow. We have DC power flow. This is just an estimation and also we can select robust solution process. Okay, so let's select, for example, Polar Newton Raphson power flow and we can press on play. Can you see these arrows? These arrows represent the active power flow by default. If we want to see active and reactive, we can come to options and press on online options. And then we can go to animated flows and we can select, for example, this one, actual megawatt and megabar power flow. We can also select the colors. We can change the color from green to any other color. And we can select also the animation rate, slower, faster. We are happy with that, so we will press OK. Now we can see both active and reactive powers flowing through step up transformer, transmission line and step down transformer till reaching the load. Now if I ask you, what is the voltage at this bus bar? What is the voltage at this bus bar? In kilovolts, in bar unit, also what is the angle? What is the losses across this transmission line? What is the, for example, the losses across this transformer? All these things can be also displayed by going to, for example, this one here, and we can come to edit mode, and then we can go to field. Here, for example, we want to display the voltage at bus 1. So we will go to bus field and select bus 1 select then bus voltage in bare unit or kilovolts okay we will select in kilovolts okay in kilovolts we can put it here we can also see the value in bare unit if we want so we have in bare unit and we have in kilovolts also we can see angle all the readings here. Let's see also the readings on bus 4. Voltage in kilovolts. Voltage in bare unit. And angle in degree. Let's also see the power losses across transmission line. We will press on field, transmission line field, and press on transmission line. We can select megawatt losses. So these are megawatts. And also we can select megawatt losses. Let's put it down. Okay. So these things. 
Now, if we run it again, we can see these readings. We have to come to run mode and select run. It is logical because the active power flows from the higher angle to lower angles. If we see the angles here, for example, let's press stop and come to draw field, press on bus and press here. Can see degree and let's see also here. So it is logical. We can see that the angle of bus 2 is bigger than the angle of bus 3. So the active power will flow from bus 2 to bus 3. So that is for this tutorial. I will see you inshallah in the next tutorial to see how to add sliders on active and reactive powers. For example, if we want to change the power of this one, the active power and reactive power, without clicking on it, without going to edit mode. The same things for the generator. For example, if we have multiple generators, here we have only one generator, so it will work as slack. But if we have multiple generators and we want to change the power of other generators, we can also do that. So all these things will be explained, inshallah, in the next video. Goodbye.